Would you be led by you? It's a interesting question to think about as, as a leader in your field, in your business, in your life. It's a question I think not many of us as leaders in these leadership roles today have the courage to ask ourselves. And I think I talk about championship leadership all the time. And I think it's an important question to ask to the greatest leaders have this uncanny ability to take a look in the mirror, to look at themselves, to ask themselves the hard questions. Why? All with the purpose of becoming better, to be the greatest leader that they can be. That's what championship leadership is all about. You know, it's, it's easy to, to walk around and say that you're a great leader. Um, it's, it's real work to take a look within, right? Insecure leaders, they're going to look, they're going to look external. They're going to point fingers. They're going to blame when things aren't going their, their way. They're going to, they're going to, they're going to shift the attention onto others around them when the responsibility solely lands on themselves. And so, you know, great question to ask, would you be led by you? Would you be excited to show up every day knowing that you get to work with a leader like yourself? Would you be inspired and be willing to run through brick walls for yourself if you were a part of your team? And it's okay if you wouldn't currently, right? And more than likely, it's, it's somewhere in between. And again, if you're a championship leader, you're, you're always willing to know that you have never arrived, that you never will arrive, and there's always room for improvement. There's always room to grow and to get a little bit better. And I think for most of us early in our career, it's a natural progression to go from someone that when you just don't know any better and you're young and you're brash, um, it's, it, it's not natural and it's, it's a little bit probably difficult to want to take those looks in the mirror, to really ask yourself the hard questions uh, uh, to continue to get better. But as, as we age, right, like a fine wine, um, you know, wisdom comes with with a little bit of experience and age and time and some things just, you, you just can't fast forward your, your way through. Some things in life just need to be earned through the actual time and experience of, of putting in the reps and, and being around and, and learning from experience, learning from the wins that you have and probably learning a lot more from the times that you, that things don't go the way that you'd hoped that they would go. So. Oh, incredible question for you to ask you for yourself today is would you be led by you and take some time, get a journal out and like set 15, 20, 30 minutes aside in this busy, crazy world that we live in and, and sit down and do some real work on yourself. Uh, you know, do, do an inventory of yourself as a leader. You know, there's, there's, there's many main characteristics that I think you can look to, you know, maybe to start with that list of what are the main characteristics that you see in a leader and then start to rate yourself on where you're at in each of those areas and, and build out the strengths and the weaknesses that you have in each area and, and start to focus on some of the areas where, where you see yourself having some weaknesses and, and devise a plan to, to, to work on those areas, to do a little study, to, to reach out to others that you see as great leaders that have strengths in those areas where you have weaknesses, right? Some of the, some of the greatest learning that we can, we can get is from, from others by going to those that are where we are currently at. That's why I do what I do as a coach, because I love to help other people get to where it is that I've gotten inside of my life. And I continue to do that with others in my life as well. I have mentors and coaches as well. And I always will. And, and uh, I learn a tremendous amount from them. They, they give me a, a tremendous amount of perspective, a different perspective than what I have so that I can continue to see differently. Uh, because I know once I become complacent, and think that I've arrived, uh, that's really a time where um, I have not only failed myself, but those around me. So um, take some time, do the real work. It, it, it takes, like, you have to do the work especially on yourself. If you really, truly care about others, if you really, true, truly care about the greater mission that is this 
bigger than yourself as a leader, you'll be willing to do this work. You'll be excited to do it because you know that every little area that you can get a little, just 1% better will help shift the journey and the path of the organization or the team that you're leading. Uh, and, and it will just lead to greater results and, and, you know, championships, right. Inside of whatever arena it is that you're in. So would you be led by you as a question for you, yourself today and, and, uh, a little challenge for you to go and, and to do some work and to really dig within and take inventory and do some introspection uh, inside of your life so that all with the purpose to get better. And when, as you get better, you can help those around you to get better as well. So that's all I got for you all today. Let's go.